former chief of staff of the Nigerian Army, chief of army staff, I should say, Lieutenant, Colonel, Lieutenant General Kenneth Minima, has formally retired from the force. He was pulled out of the force at a colorful ceremony in the nation's capital territory, Abuja. The ceremony actually took place at Mogadishu Cantonment in the, cap the federal capital territory. In attendance at the ceremony were governors and top military officers, including the man who took over from Minima, Major General Yusuf Borate, the new chief of army staff. Speaking at the event, General Minima said he did his best to secure the country and deal with the Boko Haram insurgency. He added that despite the seeming resurgence of Boko Haram, the sect is close to being completely defeated. My appointment as civil army staff on 16 January 2014 was undoubtedly the defining moment of my military service. You will recall the appointment came at the time our army and indeed the nation was going through one of the worst crises in our history. The level of violence and insecurity unleashed on innocent citizens by the Boko Haram terrorists had reached unprecedented heights. There was spate of bombings across the country, attacks on self targets such as civilians, and vulnerable communities were on the increase. The armed forces and security agencies appeared helpless to address the situation, and sadly, the nation began to lose confidence in its army and military. The situation was no less grim in the north, not central and northwestern zones, where armed bandits, cattle wrestlers, and ethnic militias held sway. The nation seemed to be heading towards the much publicized disintegration some had predicted would occur in 2015, and by God's grace we will survive this year as one nation. As I settled down to work, I was confronted with the decay in the service due to long periods of neglect the army had suffered. An assessment of the situation revealed that the Nigerian army needed to harness its capabilities and optimize its capacity to deal with the challenges that began to the nation. I therefore prioritized efforts towards enhancing our overall operational readiness through the three pillars of improved training, organization, of equipment and enhancement of troops' welfare. Above all, I inspired and rekindled fighting spirit in the troops backed by military sanctions. I'm happy to state that the story is different today and the situation much better than I met it. Today, the country is more secure and stable. The ability of Boko Haram terrorists to confront our security forces in, in open combat is virtually non-existent. A nation is as strong as its armed forces. And the strength of the armed forces is in the quality of the individual soldier and his fighting spirit. Fighting spirit imbues him with confidence to stand up to the adversary rather than flee like we witnessed in the recent past. While adequate attention to his welfare demonstrates his nation's commitment to his well-being and motivates him to sacrifice everything, including his life, dis including his life, while discipline and sanctions confines him within military laws. For long, our nation has toyed with the health and vitality of its military. This is the time for our country to reinvigorate the Nigerian Armed Forces by investing in the armed forces. Government must provide the necessary resources and right political environment to recruit, train, equip, kit, and remunerate our servicemen. We all have a role to play to make our armed forces great again. Sometimes, all it takes is a simple thank you and encouraging words to the men and women who watch over our freedom and liberty. Never again, never again should we allow ourselves to walk this path that we have. Never again. <laughs>